They say that if it works, don't fix it Go against the law, might get a bit risky No offense to y'all, but I feel a bit gifted So I think my odds are about 50-50 Bootleg Cam exclusive. What matter wise, what is the lo the the longest run you think they can make in these playoffs, man? Well, look, man, you you, you saw the you saw the Buccaneers win win the ball, man. You saw you saw the the Cardinals the, make it to the Super Bowl. The, the Cardinals nine and make seven it to the Cardinals. Super Bowl. <laughs> the Seahawks beat the Saints last year in the in the in the playoffs. So uh, they could do it. I mean, Alex Smith. Has to has to make some plays, but uh, our defense is that good. It's that man. good. It's that it good. That good. It's so uh, I'm I'm hoping for. I mean, look, I haven't had playoffs in about ten years, so I just want a first round win. If we can get that first round by, that'll be great. Uh, but just know. I got the defense in my on my fantasy squad. Oof. They put up some points. Yo, it is just crazy. It's great to see, man, because that's what that's what this uh, that's what football is all about for me. Is great defense. It's not about you know five wide receivers wide. It's like reminding you, know, you of the '80s. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like the run the football. Like, yeah. I like I like I like bullying people. I like I like winning in the trenches, and that's kind of what we're taking. Like, it's it's funny because I wrote an article on ESPN about my life as Alex Smith. And I saw like, that. Yeah, man. And it was that was very, last year, right? That was yeah. That was, no, that was like probably what five months ago. That wasn't too long ago. So we get to do some guest blogging for ESPN. We have another one coming up called uh, it's called I Love College with a question mark. And it's about actually what we were talking about off air, the BCS playoffs. Yeah, which is uh, yeah, which is like crazy to me. Mm -hmm. So we're here, Boise State's playing ASU. No, no, I mean I know ASU beat USC this year, but Boise State had a great year. They, they should be in a, a, a BCS, BCS bowl year. Sure. Um, but yeah, and it's just so funny how correlated my my life is with the 49ers. And I was just like one of those moments where I'm in the clouds, and it just hit me. I was like, Yo, man. I'm Alex Smith. I'm Alex Smith. I'm Alex Smith because he was, you know, he's having a, having a pretty good year and everything like that. And I was just like, it's just, it's just amazing. And seriously, man, this is life is such a team sport. I'm so happy I'm a sports fan because it makes the rest of the world make sense. To yeah, you. you have to cooperate. You have to be patient. You have to do the little things every day to get better. So uh, when I saw what was happening with the 49ers and how I was handling it, some, uh, you know, having Jim Harbaugh come in and and be a teacher, be a mentor, and and to speak. Uh, a quarterback's language and what can we do to make you put you in a better position right. to win I had the same thing going on with Def Jam and a couple other cats were like what can we do for you to make you in a, put you in a position to win I had people listening to me uh, rather than just shutting off my ideas and this is what we're going to do so and you're starting to see that man I mean you're starting to see with Paps and Jazz we did that all of ourselves common knowledge is me and my boy Aristotle like alright let's get this shot let's get this shot there's no there's no puppeteering going on and it feels great it, it, and I know that my fans can feel feel that too the video that you put out not too long ago that it had the big lebowski feel which, which video? gotta get up oh video. yes yeah, man. Yo, shout out to john Haloy. big AKA lebowski is my favorite movie ever mine too man so when i saw that i was like yes that's my life man jeff lebowski is like lebowski. what i'm going for pretty much like that's beautiful yeah so <laughs> I, you know if i'm gonna i'm gonna you know write checks for 89 cents for milk i'm sure of it but uh dude yeah at the end of the day that that was 70 76 000 still frames in HDR, so um, a lot of work. When it, that was a three-day shoot, uh, that was the longest it's ever been. We usually just shoot in a day, probably twelve hours. But Luke and I, that was no budget, man. Yeah, you that don't want five hundred bucks. That's crazy. Five hundred dollars. That's what you can do with somebody who really cares He's about the art. Yeah, Luke is a, the uh, the man. If if you can hear me, man, I love you to death. And uh, he also did the Last Man Standing video. Uh, yeah, man, that's it. Same thing with the videos. We just try to do some cool stuff. I mean. Um, and we're excited, man. We're really excited because for the first time in a really long time. I think for the first time, you're going to get the look you, you really got deserve, man. got freedom back, man. Because I see, like, you know, I see people who I feel like, I don't know, like, uh, like, like you know, Mac Miller came out, sold 150,000 units independently, and, you know, he did like, that himself. That's like yourself. Um, I think sometimes it's just all about timing, you know what I'm saying? You got it, man, and luck. Timing, yeah, timing and luck. That's it, man. And uh, It's like half of it. But I, what's exciting about... What, I, what I'm re-encouraged about, because first of all, people are always trying to bring you down in this game, especially when you're doing well. And while I continue to get out of bed and, and, and continue to make music is one when we do those shows. Right. Whether it's five people you're, or five. This dude is crazy live. 50,000 people. We have a blast on stage and the kids really appreciate it. And two, we, uh, 
we sh- really had some issues, uh, and I don't want to use the word politically because that's a that's that's pushing the blame elsewhere. I definitely had some blame on myself with with just being a jerk and, and and not being not cooperating, so to speak. But we had some real issues with the powers that be, and for about two years we were pretty quiet on the mainstream. And this is the information era, so two years is a really long time, man. You should be you should be technically gone, wiped away, and no one should. Yeah, I think you put out like the Roth EP. Yeah, you know, you like did stuff. Yeah, and that's what I appreciate it, man, because cats like you, it's really encouraging that. Oh man, I really liked. No, I mean I, I'm a fan. Like yeah, I said, like that's on love, everything, dude. greenhouse effect. That's that's love. my shit. And I have kids in Chicago being like, oh rap, I'm Eddie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, okay, like these dudes know what what we're trying to do, and and, and going back and really filling in those cracks that when I, I love college exploded. I mean, you have to understand, we came in doing, we, we released that record on MySpace. Mm-hmm. So we came in in a very early part of this digital transition. You know, so it's uh, it's wild for me. to. It's I, very early, yeah. Yeah, I've witnessed all this. I've, it's, I've, it's a, it's, the shit has evolved is, so we much. Were, we were part of like the, oh, I guess the second, because uh, Lupe was part of the first freshman color cover. So we're, we're part of the second freshman cover. Yeah. I don't even know which one, what they're on now, like fifth or something like that. But we've watched this whole transition. So we've been able to learn a lot of lessons. And uh, It's you crazy because you, you were touring with Cuddy Kid Cudi and B.O.B. And, and, and they were opening for you, right? Uh, Cuddy and I were co-headlining. But yeah, okay. B.O.B. was opening up. Next thing you know, he has like three hit singles yeah, in the top ten. he's a pop 10. artist. Yeah, yeah. Nuts. But and we're rooting for everybody, that, man. It, that whole, I think that whole class, that was the best freshman class by yeah, far. Yeah, it's really cool to see. But man, talk about that. That's like... So strange to look at a cover and be like, "Oh, we're so, it's like look a what this guy's doing, look it's what this guy's book. doing." Wale was on that cover, right? Wale was on he the just cover. sold you know, his number one album. Yo, Wale and I went through a lot of the similar stuff, man. A lot of similar stuff. The Cool Kids and I, a lot of similar. The stuff. The Cool Kids was a group that, during that when that cover came out, I thought, "Oh, they should they have been on the." They should have been on the cover. Oh, dude, they set they're, they've set trends that like, like snapbacks. I, thought, I really thought the Cool Kids. They man, they should have been out of here. They man, were rocking they're snapbacks forever, seven years ago. And they, yeah, yeah, I know they're yeah. So it's really crazy to see like the stuff that we were doing that long ago is now really big right mm-hmm. now. So it's like it's cool. We're a hundred percent with it, but now we're like, all right, let's like keep it moving, you know. But yeah. it's it's exciting for us because we get to see that we have a very real foundation, and uh, now we just got to build off that. That's what's up? Hey, uh, how'd your fantasy team do this year? Yo, you know what, man? I did not. I didn't make the playoffs. Oh. See, here's the deal. I, I had, lost by I, four points. I had braided a Gronkowski. I had that connection. Okay. So I was good there, but then I had Legarrette Blunt. Ah, uh, he was just just like he had he like never, three good weeks. He never put it together, and this is my biggest disappointment. I did this two two years in a row. I drafted Sean Green. Sean Green. He towards he turned, the end, at of, the the end of the season. It was already too late. I had Sean Green on my team, and yeah, I felt the same way. Garrett Blunt and Sean Green just never put it together, <gasps> man. They never. That's put your. It if that was your one-two punch with running back, then you're just, in trouble. Yeah, I was in trouble, man, from the jump, and then uh, so I, I feel so bad because I wasted such a golden year from Gronkowski, but Gork, yeah, that's my, my wide receiver corpse just like i couldn't find really like my middle and then the the week i get eliminated um i have everybody go off because i had like i I brought in doug baldwin i had julio jones who had a two touchdown 200 yard performance right all these guys that just decided to show up on the last day after i got eliminated (laughs) and it was just one of those seasons for me man but you know what you do basketball at all fantasy basketball i i I think i'm going to i I, I play i normally play baseball and football those are my fantasy basketball is to me, it's, is it, it's is fun. It one? It's All fun, right. man. I'm with it, man. I'm I, with I only it. do basketball. I don't. I don't. I mess feel with so bad because the Lakers are in trouble. Man. You're not, are I'm you sorry. a Laker fan? No, I'm not. Okay, my, good. My buddy Jason Salvador to the left of me is a huge Lakers fan. I feel bad for him. And, uh, I'm a Kobe. Hey, I'm a Suns fan. I'm from Phoenix, yeah, man. So see, well, Charles Barkley's one of my favorite players ever. Oh, one of these mics. That's yeah, a beautiful thing. So, yeah. Are you a Sixers fan? I'm a Sixers fan, man. Well, I, you know, I grew up. I really enjoyed watching the Sixers and uh, the Bulls. Obviously, when we were young, you know, I loved watching the Bulls, but. Now, right now, I'm I'm really rooting for Drew Holiday. I think Evan Turner is a is a very There's some good young player. talent, underrated young talent. <laughs> Thaddeus Young's dope. Thaddeus Young is dope, but uh, we you know Iggy's still there. I'm not mad at Iggy. Shout out to uh, Louis Williams and all these guys. Uh, Spencer Hawes is a good friend of mine. So uh, we'll see. We, I always we, gotta have one awkward white guy. On you know the team. what I'm saying? Shout out to Spencer Hawes. We, we can put it together if we we put it together late last year. Made a little run, so uh, we'll see. I think Drew Holiday is the truth. Uh, and I think if Spencer, if uh, Spencer obviously playing playing big, but if if Evan can turn, I think Evan Turner is the X factor. We got to give him minutes. He needs confidence because Ohio State he, he oh, ran yeah. that he ran he that did. program. He did. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. But go Sixers. And I'm, I, I honestly, man, my prediction: I think the Bulls. I think the Bulls take it this year. Really? I do. 
Hey, I think Rip Hamilton that acquisition is underrated. I, I think it's a it's a it's a very solid team with with no egos. Their superstar is they just got a center like, is a hundred percent basketball. Yeah, they rebound, they play defense. I think they're going to be a tough team to beat coming yeah, up. I appreciate you coming through though, man. Leg. Tonight, if you guys have not seen this guy live, I've seen him. Uh, I've only seen you once, unfortunately, but it was at Rock the Bells. It was crazy, man. It's, it is a uh, it is quite the experience. Harmon Theater, um, you, March. Is it too March, orange? Is this March. too orange? Is this too orange? Comes out in March. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. We'll be out here a bunch, man. Pool no. parties. Pool parties. I know, man. I saw you. Out. You be you're out here quite a bit. We're out here, man. Hey, I saw you. Uh, you were out here one time, and you were you were getting it in with Tony Braxton on yo, stage. Grinds Tony Braxton in Vegas, man. That's, I saw that on YouTube. I'm like, yo, real story. Asher Roth, <laughs> just, that's a W for yo, all us man. white boys now, everywhere. I'm just all I want to do now. I just want to make out with Jennifer Love Hewitt, man. I just want to make out with her once. That's it. Hey, bro, come to Vegas enough. <laughs> it will happen. You that already is. grind it on. You already get ready. It's a new date all over Tony Braxton. You know. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, uh, you can make it happen. My boy uh, Casper is a fit. He's now dating J Lo. That's oh. my. That's oh, my that's man. right. He dances. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's all good. There it is. Man. There's hope for everybody. There's hope for everybody. Right Thanks now. for coming through, my man. Though, uh, shit, paps and jazz. Get that. Here you go. Paps and Jazz, man. Check it out. Free download. Asher Roth on Twitter. Asher Roth on Facebook. AsherRothMusic.com. We out here. Bootleg Kev, man. You the man.